So today we're making the Glada using Fast 65 Peppermint Schnapps. Schnapps. Strong flavor in your face. Good stuff. By the end, you will understand why my hand is red and numb. Welcome to Coffee Mad Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schober. That is the other host, Ian Andrews. We are making a Also known drink. as the co-host. The co-host. <laughs> other host. I don't like to say the same thing over and over. It gets old. Yeah, good uh, point. Pick up your boots and winter jackets and start to make a cocktail with peppermint. That's not normal. <laughs> You're mixing it up. This cocktail, the Glad Eye, submitted by Gregory with our producer, Justin Dennis, over here. What's up, Justin? Um, we're going to stir a cocktail. It's got absinthe and peppermint schnapps at a two to one ratio. Yum, yum. Two parts absinthe, one peppermint schnapps. We're going one and a half and three quarter. It's a stir and pour in a... In a chilled martini glass. It's too late. No, it's not. It's never too late. Here, you do that, I'll stir. No, no, you, you don't. I guess we're getting a little water. Dude, I smell absinthe all up in the Dude, business. Fast at 65. Not in business anymore. Oh, yeah. That's, so, well, they got bought. They got bought, yeah. It's un unknown whether that what that means for their business. I think uh, peppermint goes very well with absinthe, actually. From yes, the stuff um, that we've done with absinthe and peppermint. No, I, I what like did we do a couple weeks ago? We're like, that's not gonna work. Oh, that worked. Was it an absinthe? Fra oh no, that was the root beer thing, wasn't it? No, it was something that had peppermint, and we were like, absinthe. That doesn't make mm. sense, and we added peppermint to it, and it worked. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't either. That's why I'm asking you. That's, see, the, the plus and the minus of doing a show with cocktails is you do so many you forget. Forget. Unfortunately. Ooh, fancy. You got that from Tails. I did. Yeah, I got that same one. Tails yeah, yeah. last year. Was yeah. that where it came from? Yeah. Two years yeah, not ago. this year. Two years the ago. The two years ago. Uh, you were there two years ago. The one that was at. The one that was. I've only been to two. Right. Not this the last year one. and last year. This was the one before well, this okay, year. Well, okay, last year. Yeah, before this year. <laughs> Meaning last year. Yeah. Okay. That was you started with. I'm right? glad we're on the same page now. That was, that was which was for, me two years ago. You thanks were, for joining me. You were on that page. Well, two, yeah, two years ago, if you it count July as the month, once the month ends, well, it's like some, last year. Some Lucian apps back from here. Yeah. We got, uh, you got Uzo definitely and... Lucian, some greenish. Um, what do you got? Hey, can I have that? Use that one. No, over one. Right there. This? Yep. No. This. What, why not? Put that. I want to see it. Well, Give you me can me. see this. Pour it in that. You know what this is? No. You don't know what this well, is? Well, it's a, a, cob uh, co 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 cobbler. Or you can say cobbler shaker, but that's not what I'm shaker. looking for for an answer. What you this, if you if you go back to 2008, this is the shaker I used to use in the channel. Oh, really? Yeah, this is no it. shiz, buddy. They that is my... always get stuck. And this is the only reason I still have the shaker. Yeah, I know. You, you, between episodes, like... you. Once you make a drink, that was it, because you can't separate it once you've, you've done it. But that was my original CMC shaker, so I've been holding oh, it over excellent. there on that crazy shelf that I've cleaned off. And um, with the I wanted to make an episode that we actually use it like the old school. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, we should re reassemble the whole setup in the attic. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> that then, sounds awesome! And then we could do one up there like I was there from the, the beginning. You haven't seen our attic. We, oh, it's, I, it's, not in a while. <laughs> it's pretty bad up there. It's yeah. horrible. You can't even walk Maybe there. someday we could do that. <laughs> that used to be like the an April Fool's. Oh, okay. That's the April Fool's. Is that Fools. shirt that I had still up in the cubby hole? Prop? Probably. I had like a red uh, KSC shirt that I, when I was doing the work up there, I would wear that because it was oh, like a work shirt. It's not up there. How do you yeah, know? In the cubby hole. In the cubby hole. Where's the cubby over hole? Over the stairs. Oh no. Over the stairs. In the in the front of the house. So if you're looking it's towards the, the front of the house, it's in the yeah, it's in the eaves. You know how you have the yeah, cubby hole? I'll holes? never see the eaves. You can't see the eaves. It's it's inside that door. Open the door. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably filled. There you go. David has more info for you. Um, <laughs> and the donate button loves you. David is in love with the donate button and and. I wasn't sure what you were doing with that. <laughs> Ow. I, I like that one. That hurts Except less. Your, hit your ring right. That's okay. It's on the knuckle. Uh, I can Did you try this already? Yeah. I can always just take off my ring. Um, it's actually That's quite good. It's actually not that bad. Um, the pe you know what it is? It's not It's not creme de menthe, which is a little bit... It's, mm. it's <laughs> Stop tapping on that cardboard over there. <laughs> this is a video. Um, I don't know if you'll hear that in there. So, for, for people who don't know... <laughs> We're not gonna tell you. Right. Uh, the, this doesn't taste like creme de menthe, which oh, is no. not peppermint. Okay, right? got more info for you. I bought it for my Lolo baking soda. I got baking soda. 
I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have no idea. Am I drunk or am I reading that wrong? No, you read, read it right. word for word from what All I was right. up. <laughs> oh, you took off your ring. Thank you. The, the great thing about peppermint and absinthe is they're both very strong flavors. So one's not canceling the other out. No, um, but it's also not overabundance. I think you signed me up for that page, the Mixology of Absinthe. They, I did. They yeah. post a lot of pages, yeah. uh, stuff on there. Alan Moss, cool. he's the yeah. uh, La Clandestine. He's the producer of La Clandestine. Oh, excellent. Nice. Uh, uh, There's some good stuff on there. Maybe we need to do a La Clandestine Absinthe episode and post it on. Ooh, we should. Then you'll get flamed by all of the, the yeah, Alan's, absinthe lovers. No, no, there. Alan's smart. Like he's he's the one who's helped me with a lot of my absinthe stuff in the past. Oh, cool. Um, I don't. Were you at you were at Tails when when mm -hmm. Kurt introduced us and he's like, oh, you got to meet this guy. His name's Alan. We, oh, we yeah, were on yeah. the way out. The, oh, the, the from guy. the party that we yeah. were at. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was him. He's oh, okay, nice. And, and I'm like, I know him already, but that's cool. Oh, Christian, got more info. Money train, money train, and a booyah. Money train. Ah. So. Ah, wow, that's awesome. How's that cocktail taste to you? Pretty good, huh? It tastes I, I like, like absinthe to me. It tastes just like a louche absinthe with a little bit of um, herbal. Yeah. It tastes to me like you've integrated peppermint into the absinthe, but it's not cold. You did what? Integrated. Integrated. Is that what I said? Infused? Is that what you mean? Maybe either. No, no he should make fun of my word integrated. Okay. I probably didn't say it right. He didn't say it right. Integrated. You can rewind. Integrated. And see. Did I say okay. integrated? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> integrated. Exactly what I said. It's it's easy. Quite, did you set the alarm on this one? No, you didn't. Um, it's easy to drink. It's easy. To, well, I mean, you have to like absinthe first. <laughs> There's that little thing about having to like absinthe. Was there peppermint in the absinthe frap? I can't remember. I don't have an answer for you, but I bet money you money train. Yeah. Really? David Hawkins oh! money train. David. He's the one he pushes the spikes up like last he month. He does. Yeah. It was like we made last week we made more money in donations the week prior to that and David's trying to like beat it. You know what's funny? At some point he's gonna have enough of a share holding in the show that he's I'm gonna, gonna have actually to own it. I'm gonna end up having to send David something. Uh, ah man, David, you're killing me literally. Um so it's a good drink. My yeah. hands itchy. I, it it's reminds me of the absinthe frap because I think that would be that would make a great combination for frap. I, I think the better thing about the absinthe frap was cold. Yes. Like ice cold chilled. This drink, if you don't drink it very fast, I think it's gonna get kind of. Uh, mm. It's gonna get warm. Yeah. I like the I like the anise flavor of the absinthe and mm -hmm. I like the mint too. If you like, if you and, don't like absinthe, this might not be your right. Drink, if you're but, if you're new to this <laughs> show, yeah. hmm. if you're so new to the show. Three quarters, uh, two thirds absinthe. Absinthe is like a black licorice flavor. Mm. Typically, it's a one to three ratio of one ounce absinthe to three ounce water. In this case, we have just liquid. We've we've barely diluted it using a uh, using a, a peppermint uh, a schnapps. Sweet liquor. Not source. to mention, absinthe is a very strong liquor. It's that's straight it's up 65. That's 65, 65 percent alcohol. It's yeah, 130 proof. Potent. Straight up. Added to that, this is actually diluting the absinthe a little, so it's not as potent. And that's a potent flavor. Right. Good. So if you want to donate to the show yourself, you can go to uh, patreoncom cmc or everydaydrinkers.com slash donate and you can get on to the newsletter by going to everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter and submit your recipe at recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Oh! <laughs> it hurts. If you like Mel Blanc. Chug a chug. Chug a chug. I got to chug a chug. If you like Mel Blanc. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, no, no chugga. No chugga? No chugga. Oh, okay. Um, question of the day. I tried. Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember that song. Holy crap, $7. Come on, ride the train. Ride it ah. at seven. Ah. It's refreshing, oh, isn't it? Oh, wait, Troy, Holy Troy got aboard. <laughs> Troy. 25? Derek loves you right now. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit, how many more? Two. Just mentally. Five. You're hurting hard. You're hitting hard. Oh my god. I tried. I tried. All right, we are done. <laughs> I'm sweating. Six. One more, Ian. That was Question six. of no. We're that was good. Seven. Question of the six. day. Have you ever broken a bone? And which one? <laughs> High fiving. Yes. What is the worst injury that you've had on your body? Mine right now is the red hand. The red, red hand, hand syndrome. <laughs> There's a song about that. Huh. Um, I've had broken noses and sprained ankles, and that's about it. Broken. Toes? Broken ribs, man. I, go, I got out of bed one morning and broke my toe. <laughs> yeah. It's happened. <laughs> proof? Yeah. Oh, well, hey, that's proof right there. I, I got out of bed. Got out of bed. If the kid backs you up, you know it's true. <laughs> I jumped out of bed quite literally. Like, I got up, and my, my 
big, my pinky toe got wrapped around one of the blankets. <laughs> Straight in the ground. Sorry. <laughs> That's a black belt move. <laughs> Broken toe. We, um, me and Eric, uh, remember Eric Magnum? Yeah, I do. We, we're, we would both do I goofy things and he was a black belt also. So we'd just laugh and be like, ah, black belt move. <laughs> <laughs> we were clumsy. Yep. <laughs> uh, bro related wrist injuries? Yes. I don't uh, know what that bro is. Bro related <laughs> wrist injuries. I'm hoping that was high fiving. Yeah, All right. We've wasted something else. We've wasted. And then circle jerking, that's yeah. the problem. Oh, that's really warm. We waste enough of your time. Trying to warm me up. It's cold. Um, question of the day. Baby, it's what was cold the question of the day? Where did you break? Oh, yeah. Remember, Sorry. you were here for that? I was. I um, you can always go to patreon.com slash CMC if you want to become one of our <laughs> one of the producers for this chaos mess. <laughs> uh, and that's it. We're done. We're teaching you it's, how to drink. It's for the better. It's for the best. <laughs> Woo! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, so you can find tons of recipes out here. I like if, that. You know what? Question of the day. The for, agave from the tequila comes out really. Well, one for D. One for D. That's I you. Do. Oh, just one for me. And, and <laughs> E.